Hey guys, so this is my first favorites video. So this is my April favorites video, and I've had a lot of favorites in April, guys. And I like, like, was like, oh my gosh, you totally put this in a favorites video at the end of the month. Oh my gosh, totally do this, and I literally forgot like half of them, and that makes me really mad. But so what I do have is going to be in this video of mine. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'm really sorry for not posting a video for like, I think it might be it's five or six days now. Five or six days, yeah. I'm really sorry, guys. I've just been like bombed with homework and tests and stuff like that. And I just haven't had the time, so I'm sorry. But I'm really happy I get to do this video now for you guys. And, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and enough of me talking, let's just get in to the dang video. I actually have my phone case. So this phone case is by Tech21, and it is the pink um, bumper case, and so it actually has like orange on the inside. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like orange in there inside the pink. So I can actually take the case off if you guys want to see it off. So here's my bare naked phone. And here's the case. So it has a plastic back piece that you can take in and out and just have the bumper or put the plastic piece in. I like to have the plastic piece because I don't really like the feel of this. It's like, ugh, it's like <laughs> nails on a chalkboard to me. I really don't like the feel. But so I just put the plastic plate in and what's really cool about this case is it's so protective. It's not too bulky, which is also a plus because Otterbox cases are like that thick and I don't like that. So yeah, I like my phone case. Next I have this little beauty. This candle is amazing. So usually you can go to Bath and Body Works and buy candles this size or go to like Yankee Candle or somewhere and buy candles that are this size and they cost like 25 bucks or they're like 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 20 bucks or 30 bucks and they're super expensive but this candle if you couldn't tell by the like the Swedish writing from Ikea and it was only four dollars like 3.95 like four dollars and it's green apple scent the all the candles are the Sing, 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 I'm not even going to try. But all of them are like called that, that are like scented candles. And this one, it just has a picture of green apples on it, so I assume it's green apple scented. And it smells like green apples. But, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Like, why can't they make like smelly things on cameras? And I've talked about this candle in like two other videos. And it's just like, yes, please, more. <laughs> I need, and I'm going to like order like six of them off online. And like, store them away because it's, it's amazing and I and it's like supposed to last for 40 hours but I think it's lasted way longer than that for me because I'm pretty sure I burned this for way longer than 40 hours oh my goodness <laughs> and it's only like that far down it still is like has like that much left so yeah and like the wick doesn't break or anything so it's not a cheap candle it's just an inexpensive candle Okay, so moving on from other favorites, we come to fashion favorites. My first favorite, you know guys, it's been really sunny outside lately, and when it's sunny, you have to take some precautions, you know? Like, I don't know what precautions, but you have to take some. So, um, yeah. Oh, am I wearing sunglasses? Is that what people do when it's sunny outside? What? Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. So I am wearing my Ralph Lauren sunglasses and they are pink. And then they have like that turtley brown black fake wood stuff. And it has a name. And I don't remember the name. And I feel really stupid not remembering this thing. But then the lenses are actually kind of like ombre. So they're like darker up here and then lighter down here. And I bought these at TJ Maxx for like 
like a fourth of the original price. Like they were originally like fifty-four dollars or something, and I got them for like twelve. So good deal. TJ Max, Max and Lisa up in here. Mm. My next fashion favorite is from that store that you know is just like forever going to be amazing, which is from I guess Forever Twenty One. And it has like roses, floral roses on it. And I actually bought this kind of wanting it to be baggy. And I made the mistake of not trying it on because it looked like it would be baggy. But because I got it in a large. And I usually am like small, medium. But I got it in a large because I really actually wanted it to be baggy. And I knew since I'm really tall, since it's cropped, it would probably be way too short. But I think I could have gotten a medium and it would have been fine because this thing is like so big like it runs baggy like if you ask me I think it uh, runs baggy without having to buy it baggy so if you're actually gonna go buy this and I just recently bought it and I just has, still have the tags on it I haven't worn it yet but I need to but I haven't so yeah if you want it baggy just get your normal size and it'll be fine or you could be smarter than me and try it on that works too so yeah but I love this, and it's got, like, a lace trim bottom. And even though it's a little big, I'll make it work. You can wear, like, a bandeau under it or wear, like, a cardigan over the top or something. And But I haven't gotten to wear it because it's so cold in Wisconsin. It's so cold in Wisconsin. So sad. My, I don't really know if this is a fashion favorite, but it is my OPI nail polish. And this is in the shade. I tried to pronounce this already. The positively hot. It's like weird. And I don't even know if my camera's focusing right now. I don't even know if it's facing the right way. Okay, it is. But it's the positively hot. And I just love OPI nail stuff because it's so nice and like it's just really nice stuff. And it like lasts forever. And but I got this for my birthday and it's kind of like this like pink. It's a really pretty hot pink. But then it has, like, once you put it on your nails, it's <clears throat> once you put it on your nails, it's, like, iridescent almost, like, in the sunlight. So I just really like this stuff. And, like, you can't really tell my nails, but I also painted, like, a sparkly coat over my ring fingernail. If you're wondering what that is. But it's kind of, I've had this on for, oh my goodness, I dropped it. I've had this on for a while now, so. Yeah, but I, I love this shade. It's, like, got a lot of dimension in it more than just a regular hot pink. next set of favorites is kind of like a combination of like hair care and like skin care, face stuff. Not makeup, but like other stuff that you use on your skin. So it's kind of like a combination of both. So, because I only had one hair care product, it didn't really need to be by itself. So let's just start. So this first thing is actually the hair care product. And it is the Momo Moisturizing Curl Enhancing Serum for dry and curly hair so this stuff actually is with grapefruit seed extract and it smells so good guys I love things that smell good but I'm not sure where I got this I'm pretty sure my grandma got it for me because she's like a beautician so you just apply this like after your hair is like kind of like towel dried or wet but you actually what it says in the directions is uh, blow dry or allowed to dry naturally without moving excessively so if you do put in your hair and you let your hair dry naturally don't like go like like rubbing with your hair everywhere just like just like put it in just let it be so if you're like applying your makeup while your hair is drying it works perfect but it like gives your like curls just like they look so pretty and like my hair is like pretty wavy naturally and kind of just like fluffy kind of but this like just like makes your hair curl like perfectly. It's amazing, guys. It's amazing. So this is like I haven't really seen this many places. So I'm not really sure where you can get it. If I find it online somewhere, I will link it down below because I bet it will be hard to find places. Cause it's like I've never heard of Momo before, except for this product. But I love this product. So and it, my hair the like, makes your hair so soft. But I only use it sometimes when I get out of the shower, like if I want my hair to be curly. Otherwise, I'll just put in like a straightening cream or something. My next skincare beauty favorite 
is the Burt's Bees Rejuvenating Lip Balm with Akiai Berry. I think that's how you say it is Akiai. But this has the purple cap. And I actually got this in a set with like um, a mango one that's like replenishing and like blueberry. I'm not sure what all came with it. But actually, oh, this is like really nice. And one in the set actually has color to it. And that one is a really good one. But it doesn't do as good a job of moisturizing. So I'd rather just use this and then a moisturizing also. So like use this and then apply color over the top. Because the other one doesn't really have much color. But it does have a little color if you're like just like going to the grocery store or something. You just want a little bit of color. But I do love this one. This one's really, really nice and makes my lips feel so soft. My next favorite is the Yes to Tomato Acne Swipes. They're the clear skin ones. And what, um, the Blemish Clearing Facial Towelettes. Yes to Sicilic Acid to control acne, pimples, and blackheads. Okay, and they're natural. So if you have sensitive skin, like I do, you don't have to worry about, like, things hurting your skin. Because my skin just, like, and flames and rash really easily but I love the Yes To brand like Yes To Cucumber, Yes To Grapefruit, Yes To Tomato which is this one but I know these work because like you like I've noticed way less blackheads on my nose and different things and like less pimples and stuff and also um Sicilic Acid is something like you can do a Sicilic Acid treatment and I've actually done a Sicilic Acid treatment before but I like did it at my house and you just like apply it to your face and it like stings but it really does an amazing job and these have sicilic acid in them which is kind of why I bought them because I was like well not all acne clearing wipes have sicilic acid in them but these do and I've noticed such a big difference and they're all natural they have made with biodegradable natural cloth they're free of parabens, petroleum and SLS and they're oil free and I just think these are the best things. So they say the power of yes. Um, yes to organic fruits and veggies. Yes to caring a, as much about what you put on your body as what you put in it. Yes to health. Yes to the benefits of antioxidants. Yes to being low maintenance and highly fabulous. Yes to happiness. Yes to you. Join the yes movement and blah 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 blah. So you just like wipe it on your face. I like... I use these to usually, like, after I, like, like I'll, like, shower and wash my face before I go to bed. And then, like, well, in the morning, I'll use this. And it is, they are the best. They are the best. And then, last, I have my giant Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream Lotion. This is ginormous. It has, I barely even made a dent, guys. But this stuff is so nice. I love Cetaphil brand also. It's a little the Yes2 brand because... Oh my goodness, even though this isn't said to be to be for your face, I think it works, does a really great job on your face, and I think it, um, just like, I don't know, it's super moisturizing, like, and it's for dry sensitive skin, so it doesn't irritate my face, and it's fragrance free, and it also, I love using this on my hands, but, so it's like for dry sensitive skin, so it doesn't like, make your hands oily, because it is... It is not oil free, but it should be. It 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 does a good job though. It doesn't give me um like any like oil or anything. But I love this stuff. It's just like a giant tub and it's like you're never gonna run out. Like you can buy one of these and like by the time you finish it it'll be like the day you die and it'll just like you'll just like feel completed. You can use the whole container of this. Whole it's like Oh my goodness, it's so big! <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're moving on to beauty favorites like makeup and stuff. I'm sorry, I was just turning off my phone there. So I have three total beauty favorites. So my first beauty favorite is this brush. And it doesn't look like a brush yet, but it's gonna be. And this is by Eco Tools, and I got this at Walgreens. It was maybe seven dollars, really not that bad. I just needed a brush, and I didn't feel like going like Sephora, which is like 15 minutes away. And I just thought, you know what? This brush looks really good. 
and it was at Walgreens. It's called Eco Tools, so it's made out of like all eco friendly materials, and it doesn't like, ow, it doesn't like irritate my face or anything. So you pull off this, this, oh my goodness, it's backwards, this cap, and then it like comes out, and it's just like a kabuki brush, and it's super, super soft, and like, I could just like rub this all over my face and like put me to sleep. It's so soft. Which is probably not a good thing in the morning because then I probably fall asleep doing my makeup. But this is the brush I use in all my videos and I actually haven't washed it yet. I got it maybe six months ago. No, less than six months ago, but I haven't washed it yet. But it's like stayed really soft, really nice. But I think I'm gonna wash it yet because it's getting a little like oily. But I'm gonna wash it soon. But it's so soft, guys. And I hate brushes that aren't soft. Like, I have a blush brush right now, and I hate it because it's not soft. I need a new blush brush. But I also like this because it's great for traveling. It doesn't get crushed while you're traveling. Like, I love retractable brushes like this. But usually, the only kind of brushes that are retractable are kabuki brushes. But I find that kabuki brushes are the best for applying powder over your foundation or powder at all. They can be used for so many things, they're so versatile. And this one's not like, like so poofy. So it's just a nice medium. My next favorite beauty makeup product is my Benefit Bo Peep Eyeshadow. And it's a velvet eyeshadow. And it's in the shade Bo Peep, which is PG47. So it is very crumbly, guys, I have to admit. And I tried to clean it off, but it just kept getting. So, yeah. So it's this, like, kind of almost rose gold, almost peachy color. And I really like it, and it's really shimmery. And when you put it on the eyes, it's super, like, soft, like, here. Ooh. That's not very sturdy. It's like that there. So it's a really pretty color, and I really, really like it. And it's, like, shimmery, and it's a great transitional color from winter to spring, which is actually the phase that Wisconsin's going through right now. It's not spring yet. Like in most places where it's already like 75 degrees. You know, it's 40 degrees here. Okay, enough of that weather rant. My last beauty favorite is my Hello Flawless Powder by Benefit. And this powder, it, I have it in the shade Champagne. And it's seriously, it's like... Oh. It does such a good job of covering. It's insane. And I, guys, I'm seeing the end. I am seeing the end. But it does such a great job of covering. And I use this, like, sometimes when I'm getting ready, like, in the mornings. And I just, like, put on concealer and, like, put on powder. And I'm, like, just leaving. Instead of, like, putting on foundation. But usually if I put on foundation, I put on my HD powder. Which I've talked about in my everyday makeup tutorial video and stuff like that. But this powder, like, if you're, like, coming home from school and you're, like, sweating in gym class or something and your face is, like, all your makeup, like, sweat off and you're just, like, seriously, I just take this powder and just, like, put it on my face and I'm just, like, oh my gosh, look at that girl. She's got, like, perfect skin. It's, like, crazy. It's insane how good this up job this powder does. So I love this powder. I love it. I don't care. I love it. Oh, dear. Oh no. Don't start singing, Riley. Don't st okay. So now we're moving on to the iPhone favorites. So my first iPhone favorite is actually my background. My, like, lock screen background. It's from The Fault in Our Stars, which is the best book ever, except it makes you cry. But it says, if you can't tell what it says, it says, okay, okay, like, if you read the book you know what that means but then the background is floral and I just love it and I actually didn't like get this like online or anything my friend sent it to me so I don't know where I got it and I can't tell you but I love it and then once I'm on my phone we're gonna go do some music favorites so we go into my favorite app Spotify and I have my favorites playlist right here guys and if you want to follow me on Spotify I will link my Spotify in the down bar and so my four favorite songs include this song heaven 
which is um a cover actually by um one second. Oh good. It is mm. oof, one second. I'll cut this one. Oh name. Oh So the song Heaven by Boys Avenue, which is actually um, like a cover collab group, and it's in their volume two, and it's the song Heaven, and it's featuring Megan Nicole, and I just think they do such a pretty job. That's the album cover. I can't actually get the song up, but I just think they do such a beautiful job with this song, and I, actually my friend introduced me to this song. She's like, Riley, you gotta listen to this song, and I listened to it, and I'm so thankful for her for showing me the song. It's so pretty. Look it up on YouTube. Just search um, Heaven Boyce Avenue. And it's like a girl and a boy like singing into microphones like playing the guitar. My next favorite song is One Day, which is playing right now. Not actually playing. But it's a One Day slash Reckoning song. It's like a remix by Asaf Adin and the Mojos. And it's like, I don't even know who's by. Because then on the album cover it says Wankle Mutt. Which I don't know what that means. But this is what the cover looks like. And it's this really cool remix. And I just love it so much. It's super cool. It's super catchy. It's amazing. And my next favorite song is the um, Girls Chase Boys uh, by Ingrid Michaelson. And it's from her Lights Out album. And it's really fun. And I think it's just like a hilarious song. And it's really funny. My last favorite song was actually... One of my Starbucks favorites, like, like you know how you get the Starbucks weekly songs, and then like, yeah. So, um, it is by um, Lake Street Dive, and it's from the album Bad Street Portraits, and it's called Go Down Smooth, and I just think it's super catchy. However, I've listened to some of their other songs, and they're not really my favorite, but I really do like this song because it's like upbeat, and some of their other songs are kind of like relaxed, and not really. It's like really like quiet and I don't really like that kind of music that much so yeah those are my top four favorite songs now we leave Riley's mm, Spotify and we go to her apps and my first favorite app is Simitrain so in this app you play it and here I'll just show you guys so you leave the train station and then there are all these things going on over here and you have to find things that are different or not symmetrical and I just think it's super fun. I really like this game. Another Starbucks app of the week. Great app. Um, the next game I love is Piano Tiles. And I play the arcade mode. If you don't know what Piano Tiles is, you just tap the black tile. Oh, it's really hard to play like these guys. You just <laughs> tap the black tiles. And it plays piano. Oops. Oh, I'm not very good at it. And then my last favorite app is an app called Sleep Cycle. And so you can set an alarm for yourself and it will naturally wake you up when you, like, it senses your sleep and then it will naturally wake you up when, like, it thinks that you're most awake. Like, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to do my whole spiel now, guys. My whole spiel. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I really liked doing, I really like doing favorites videos. Like I've only done one, but I still really like it. Because I think it's a really great way to find out what other people are using and things like that. And I love watching people's favorites videos. Like end of the month, oh my gosh, favorites video time. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, but so, um, I just like love doing stuff like this. Because I love sharing my opinion and I love hearing other people's opinion. So, if you want any other, um, like, favorites videos, then say, Riley, we love it when you do favorites videos. We love it when you do stuff like this. And I'll be like, great, now I know to do stuff like this. And then, um, I'll try and link the Momo stuff. And I'll also try and, yeah, I think, um, I'll probably end up linking most of the things that I can find online linked down below in the down bar. 
And then, um, I don't really know what else there is to say. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe! And like, and comment, and tell me what you want in a video. Because, guys, I don't know what you want, and I don't want to be doing videos you don't want. I want to be doing videos you want. So, comment below what videos you want me to do. And it would be mucho ayudar, which means very help. But I think it means very helpful. So you should totally do that. And thank you again for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you next time. So bye, guys.